Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Umbrella Corpse on the G4 GTX 750 Ti with overclock 200 MHz to the core and 400 MHz to the VRAM for FPS monitoring I'll be using Cam if you want to learn how to use it click on the top right corner of the video where the Cam logo is or check the description below if you want to learn more so this game Umbrella Corpse by Capcom what to say about this game? Well, it runs on Unity, the game engine Unity, and I had a hard time finding matches. So this is a fast-paced shooter that has is mostly multiplayer. So it's three versus three. Yeah, very small. The maps are very reduced. That's why. So we have a a very reduced map with zombies in the middle against three other players. In this case, I had a hard time finding a match. It might be because I live in South America, I don't know. Maybe not many people own this game here. The thing is, I had a hard time finding a match. I could only find one with other players. So I'm now playing single player called The Experiment. And uh, well, on 1080p, I had a hard time trying to get 90 frames, I'm sorry, 60 frames per second. I could uh, achieve 60 by dropping to the minimum setting, but it wasn't stable at all. So I had to use, well, 30 frames per second was my other target. So if you try the highest setting, it will run at 30 frames per second. I suggest you overclock the card. I don't know how it runs on consoles though, but it should run at 60. I mean, <laughs> it's a really fast paced shooter. So my suggestion is play at 900p. I'm going to switch to 900p now. Okay. So as you can see, 900p. Shadows on standard, occlusion on standard, and I turned off real time reflections, turned off motion blur, and kept other things on, on the medium preset for the most part. There are not a ton of options, but it's the closest I could get to 60 without losing much quality. If I lower mo more settings, it will be a little more stable, but stable 60s weren't possible for me in this case. I'm still playing single player here. As you can see, it's kind of a mercenaries mode, but worse than Resident Evil mercenaries. The game is fast paced, as I said, so I suggest playing at 60. At 30 is very hard to aim. I suggest you just play with a controller. In this case, it's hard to aim with a mouse and keyboard. I don't know what's going on with that. But hopefully with some patches, the game runs better. I don't know what's going on with, with the game, honestly. It runs on Unity, the game engine, as I said at the beginning of the video. But, I don't know, I had a hard time <laughs> trying to get 60 frames per second. For some reason it's hard to achieve. I don't know really what's happening, but to get the best performance just turn off reflections. I mean occlusion, which is called occlusion, and keep shadows on medium whenever possible. And for the most part it's, it's been fun. I mean I played a couple matches <laughs> that I could join and the game was fun really short bursts of matches. I mean, the matches are 3v3, so nothing, not much people to kill at all. But it's an interesting game, it's weird, but uh, I don't know. Those are my first impressions. In my opinion, it's not worth $30 whatsoever. Wait for a sale if you want this game. And if you wait for a sale for this, wait for players to, well, more people to play it. 720p highest setting work just fine. I uh, here's when I found a multiplayer match. As you can see I'm using I'm playing the Resident Evil 5 Magini Village. And I have to say the maps are pretty pretty awesome. I mean we have maps from Resident Evil 4, 5 uh, and some others and they are very well done in my opinion. The Resident Evil 4 maps and Resident Evil 2 maps bring back some memories from the previous games I enjoyed. But uh, yeah guys, I don't think this is worth $30 unless they patch it and add better matchmaking, I don't know. I don't, I cannot recommend it for now since I couldn't play it that much. So those are my very early first impressions. There I died, as you can see. <laughs> so here's the other thought. So this is one life, so you have one life, 3v3, so it's a very short match. But yeah guys, my suggestion is wait for a sale, and if you wait for a sale and are considering buying it, make sure that there are still people playing it. I mean, this is one hour after the game was released, and I'm in South America, so that's maybe why I didn't get 
to play online with a lot of people. I just found a couple of matches, <laughs> nothing more. And I've been playing for an hour. So yeah, if you have people to play with, this is a good idea, but it's not worth $30 whatsoever. So my honest opinion, wait for a sale. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> I mean, the game should run better, in my opinion, but because the maps are small and all the stuff, but I don't know. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.